Hey everybody, this is FireGuard 522 with my fifth hammer editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the vertex manipulation tool. The vertex manipulation tool is basically a tool that allows you to move the vertexes of an object. Uh, if you don't know what a vertex is, it's the point where two lines meet on an object. So if you have a square, it's where the corners are. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our source SDK. I already have it launched. You would go to your tools and install the source SDK. Uh, engine version, I'm going to use episode 1, current game, Half Life 2 Deathmatch. You can use whatever game you want for this, but I'm going to use Deathmatch. Go to Hammer Editor, launch it. It should come up. Go to File New, or open up a previously made map that you're still working on. Let's go ahead and use, or find the texture that you want. I'm going to use just the default brick because I don't really need to change it for anything. And I'm going to show you guys just how to make like a slanted wall real quick. Let's go ahead and get a camera. And we have a wall. Now we go to our vertex manipulation tool, which is this little box with the four corners around it. Click on it and select one of the top corners. You can see that it lights up red in the YZ view. We want to grab this, we can drag it. We change to our mouse tool, and you can see that the block is now a triangle. But it's not completely a triangle because these two vertexes are not connected. Connected. You can connect these by going by doing the same thing. Go in here, grab this, and move it into the other vertex. Now when you let go of it, it will ask it to merge vertexes. Or vertices. Hit yes. And we should have a triangle. I forgot to move this over. Vertices. And now we have a triangle. But making this a triangle, we have lost two of our ver vertexes. I don't know why I'm saying vertices. I believe it's a vertex. If I'm wrong, excuse me. I don't. That's just early. <sighs> okay. Now let's say we wanted to make the top part slope downward. You can just go like that. And now we have a triangle just again. But it's not. But it's a um. What's this triangle called? I believe it's a uh, isosceles, or I don't know, honestly. But I know it's not equilateral. Now it's an equilateral triangle. Uh, let's say we wanted to just drag this one corner specifically to the middle, and we have this irregular shaped object. Uh, the texture is smeared out like that because it's aligned to the face. So we choose world, hit apply, and it should have changed back. It's a little odd. Huh. You can also change the vertices in the, or vertex in the camera view. Just grab one of the vertex and move it around. But be careful, you can sometimes get irregular shaped objects, and when Hammer tries to use it, it says it's an invalid st structure. You can just go into your problems by hitting Alt-P or going to our, um, I believe it's, uh, what was it, I think it was map, yeah, map, and then check problems. And hit fix, and it'll change the object to an object that Hammer can use. I don't have a use for the vertex tool right now, but I I have used it in some of my maps. So yeah, this is good for making architecture, architected buildings. That I made up a word, architected. Uh, it's good for making buildings that have that aren't all blocky. So yeah, this has been FireGuy522 with my fifth hammer editor tutorial teaching you guys how to use the vertex manipulation tool. Have fun, don't burn yourselves.